They were worried, they were concerned, and to the point where when we knocked on the doors, they didn't actually open the doors in the beginning. In pouring rain and nasty, dirty conditions, helping a woman on her own with a disabled husband. Thank you very much. The UK has been through weeks of unprecedented floods, the worst the nation has seen in generations. Streets have turned to rivers, fields have become lakes, and many have lost their homes. Here MTA News presents a special report on the work of the Amdia Muslim Community's disaster response teams. As floods took hold of towns and cities across the UK, MTA staff travelled with the Amdia Muslim Youth Association to assess the damage. We were astonished to find entire towns brought to a standstill by waters reaching up to the second storey of local homes. Residents were in a state of fear, with nearby fields engulfed in water, threatening to bring yet more misery. The Amdia Muslim Youth Association's Khidmat de Khulk Secretary, Madhusar Ahmed, was already working with Amdi Muslims around the country to coordinate a response. So in terms of the flood relief efforts in, in the north, what I noticed was in the beginning, the first few days of a new location, wherever we went, what would happen is that because these people in parts of Cumbria have never spoken to, let alone seen in the flesh, uh, a Muslim before, it was a new thing for them. And when they saw you know, wades of Muslims out in the streets, they were worried, they were concerned, and to the point where when we knocked on the doors, they didn't actually open the doors in the beginning. Um, as time went by and as our persistency continued, we kept returning day in, day out. And they saw that slowly they began to realize and trust that they saw that you know, we were actually cleaning the streets and we were working with other neighbors. And they began to open the doors. And they actually told us themselves that you know, we were amazed at this side of Islam that we'd never seen before. We had a father um, of a church, uh, within a church, he was talking to us and he mentioned about how his congregation were actually quite anti-Islamic originally and over the course of the weeks working with us and seeing us work that their whole perception about Islam just completely flipped turned to the point where some of them actually said that you know they were no, no longer going to uh, vote for the BNP. I just wanted to thank your community in particular for the kindness and consideration that you've shown to the residents. Uh, it's, it's been really a joy to witness. We were extremely pleased to see you all turn up in the village today because <laughs> we started here and we didn't really know how we were going to actually deal with this at all. So what you've done has been absolutely tremendous and I don't, we just couldn't have done it on our own at all. And you are a credit to the Muslim community and I hope the whole world knows about all the wonderful things that you've done for us. Humanity First provided resources and assistance to the Amdia Muslim Youth Association. Dr. Aziz Hafiz, Director of Disaster Relief, says the teams drew their inspiration from the guidance of the global head and caliph of the Amdi Muslim community, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed. Without that united leadership under Khalifa al uh, I think all our efforts would come to naught. No matter how expert we may be, no matter how many resources we may have, it's the blessings of Khalifa that actually unite those efforts. There are many organizations out there who are more than able to do far more than we are. Uh, but I think our humble and meager resources and efforts are blessed due to that unity. The week before, the Jummah before the floods hit um, in the beginning of December, um, Hazur's Khutbah Jummah was, all, well, half of the Khutbah Jummah was dedicated to uh, defending the name of Islam and specifically using the media to do that. But press, media aur mukhtalif zarae se kaam kar sakte hain har mulk mein aur har shehar mein karna chahiye is waqt duniya ko islam ki haqeeqi tasveer dikhana bahut zaruri hai allah taala ke fadl se jumaat ek qareeban har jagah is taraf tawajjuh hai lekin halaat ka taqaza ye hai ke lagatar is bare mein media ko istemal kiya jata rahe unse taluq ko rabta rakha jaye unke zariye se awam unas ko bataya jaye you know, we've been blessed immensely with the amount of media attention that has picked up by local, national, and even, uh, you know, uh, papers and, and websites and social media. Um, and people are actually spreading the message of Islam for us on our behalf. On Facebook and on Twitter, people are, have been talking so much about the work that the Qadam are doing um, as part of the Muslim Youth Association. Um, so Alhamdulillah, I think the message is really getting out there. And it's all to do with the, the blessings and, and the prayers of uh, Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih. It isn't just the media and public taking notice of the Amdiya Muslim community's work. 
Politicians including Jeremy Corbyn, the UK's leader of the opposition, also expressed their gratitude. And no wonder, during three weeks of continuous support, 300 Amni Muslim volunteers have travelled to dozens of towns to offer relief to over 10,000 people. The astonishing efforts and sacrifice by each volunteer are worthy of high praise, but for Dr Hafiz, one young man particularly stands out. We have a, a young man who, over a year ago, was told by his doctors that he would never walk again after being practically paralysed, waist down, following, uh, following an injury, falling from a very tall building, escaping a fire. Despite being told he would never walk again, he has been able to walk on crutches. Uh, however, despite difficulties in walking with his crutches, he has single-handedly got teams around him and literally, as I speak to you now, he's out there in the area of Bingley, West Yorkshire, helping. As Zuri Anwar has been saying, inshallah, I will be okay. Um, I did go for some treatment to China and Zuri Anwar um, said I should go for a second treatment. And um, just as Uri Anwar just said, keep faith in Allah and inshallah you will be okay. Doctor said I want to walk again. Well, alhamdulillah, with Khalifa Vakat's prayers this year, um, I am able to help in the flood reliefs because I helped three years ago also and it was something that was very close to me. And um, I am very, very lucky that I've been able to help. But it's not just me. A lot of Qudam have given so much sacrifices and so much time and money into helping in this disaster. Uh, to which the public has been absolutely amazed. I mean, it's been a really amazing uh, way for Jamaat to do tabligh, and we've ab been able to take the word of Ahmadiyya to such places where it's not been possible previously. And the Muslims working around the country say they are determined to serve mankind because these are the true teachings of Islam. You know, we take that example from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, who was a mercy for all of mankind. Also, if you look at uh, the Promised Messiah and his teachings, and in fact, within Khidmat al Khalq, we have a, a business card that we issue out to contacts that we make, and I've got one here in front of me. And at the back of that business card, um, we actually have a quote from the Promised Messiah, and I'll read it out to you. It reads, My desire, my wish, and my objective is serving humanity. It is my job, my faith, my inspiration, and my way.